on this week, we have a day of fasting and prayer. I'm sorry. We have a day of fasting and prayer on Tuesday. It's all day. Also on that morning, though, we have a meeting with St. Vincent de Paul and with Calvary Church about our Good Neighbor Outreach. Let me just say this a little bit about our Good Neighbor Outreach. We had a an over the top, excuse me, a good neighbor outreach is to the homeless. And I'm hearing that this is all over. From St. Vincent to Paul, there are other chapters, but it was an overwhelming July. We gave away 137 nights. The Triborough Clergy Association gave away 44 nights. We're also, the Calvary Church has been busy. St. Vincent de Paul has been busy. And where did this help go? The work to a working mother with her eight, uh, also taking care of her eight-year-old son. Several, several older women. A man who lost his job as a truck driver due to a physical problem. Uh, and housing became an issue. Uh, another guy lost his job as a forklift operator. Uh, uh, we also, we helped a woman who was living on the bench, remember that really stormy week? I just kept noticing this person was living in a bench uh, across from, right across from the Sam's gas station. We put her up. We helped her put her up. And then St. Vincent, uh, St. Vincent de Paul also had uh, Just, again, just several older people with nowhere to go. And as people are getting around more, uh, you know, just the demand is, uh, the demand has been great. Amen. So may, may God be with us in our good neighbor and our reach. Again, I mentioned the day of fasting and prayer, Zoom prayer service at 7. Even if you can't do the whole prayer service, just have a prayer request, just, you know, you'll, you'll get the link on your email and just even come for a short time. You're, you're more than welcome. Then we have a check-in with our Bible study group with uh, Epworth United Methodist Church this Wednesday. And uh, again, that's just going to be a check-in. The topic when we show a, a wonderful short video and just do a Bible study on kindness. Amen. And, and you're more than welcome. A great way to just check out, uh, check out this group, which we'll begin again meeting weekly in the fall. Shift into a prayer concern you have, prayer cards in your pews. If you have a special prayer request, you may fill them out and place them in the offering plate. They'll be placed in the offering plate, prayed for during the week, and also on a special day. Uh, prayer at our, at our prayer meeting. Amen. Um, Linda Ford continues in her recovery from hip replacement surgery. Uh, Mary Ann Eaton continues in intermediate care, Marcella Manor Rehab in Burlington. We continue to pray for Pat Peach, who is on, uh, who is on hospice. Also uh, for John and Shirley Ferris, John continues in home hospice care. I know I'm missing, I know I'm missing people. Do uh, you have any shout outs? Let us come on this communion Sunday. Let us come to the Lord in an attitude of prayer.
the maker of heaven and earth. God, we ask for your help this morning in just so many ways. In ways you know, ways that have been mentioned, ways that have not been mentioned out loud this morning, but Lord, that you are, are keenly aware of. Right now in the silence, we just lift up to you any specific prayer request that we have. And we ask for your help and your divine assistance. It's in your name we pray. Lord, we agree in prayer for one another. And at the same time, we pray for our individual needs. Lord, we pray that you live in each of our hearts. Lord, I pray, we pray this morning for anyone who's never accepted you as Savior and Lord. Your word says that today is the day of salvation. Lord, again, I pray for anyone who's never accepted you as their Savior and Lord. And for those of us who have made that decision, may that decision today be a new and a fresh in each of our lives. And God, we pray for your healing mercies of body, of mind, of spirit, and of relationship. And every name that we pray for today, we just pray that you have numbered the hairs on our heads. And Lord, you know what their needs are. And Lord, we just agree in prayer for your healing mercies. We agree in prayer for, for Linda, for Mary Ann, for Morgan, for Pat and Joe, for Keith, for Ed, for Judy, for John and Shirley, for Gwen, for Sharon, for Dick and Nancy, for our nation, our president, Joe, for the Boffinger family, for Natalie, for Rich and Sweet, for Carl, for Reverend Harold and Thelma, for Naomi, Diane, all are dealing with COVID-19, for Shirley and Joe, for Barry and Eva, for Peggy, for Peggy and Red, for our good neighbor of neighbors, Brian, Teresa, Michelle, Dawn, Lord, we love you and we need you. Durham, when for a greater New Jersey annual conference, for the Church of Jesus Christ, for Asbury United Methodist Church, and again for extremely serious yet unspoken needs. Lead us and guide us, God. Live in us and show us the way. Lord, we pray for our friends watching online, from distant lands, we pray for those who are in Cuba, those who are in Haiti. God, we love you and we need you. We pray for first responders, for those who serve in the military. We pray for just healing in so many ways, God. Just for, for your healing mercies. We pray for our nation. And again, we pray for the Church of Jesus Christ, that we may be one in you. It's in your name we pray, and we thank you. And be with us, especially in.
in this time together. It's in your name we pray. All God's people said, Amen. 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 Hey, I have a special responsive reading for us today. It's Psalm 51. It's found in your hymnals. Psalm uh, page 785. I also think that Anne's going to have it on the wall as well. There's a story behind this psalm. And part of our reading today, part of our lectionary reading, the Old Testament reading, it's the story of David. And in a time when kings went out to war, David did not. One night he was on the roof of his building and he noticed a beautiful woman taking a bath. And the rest of the story is they they got together and you know David was the man in power, so can't even be sure it was consensual. The woman Bathsheba becomes with child. So David gets the thinking, says, let me bring her husband home. They can be together and it'll be his because Bathsheba was with child. And, but her husband was such a, an honorable man that he said, no, my people are out in the field. I, I can't do that. They're out in battle. And to make a long story short, then David arranged for him to be on the front line and then to have the lines pull back and Uriah was his name, ended up getting killed in battle. And then Bathsheba at the time of mourning, and then David brought her into the palace. All is well. So David thought, but then a man named Nathan came and confronted David and said there was a rich man who had this huge farm and anything he wanted, there was a poor man, all he had was this little land. And he said this, uh, this, this really rich guy didn't eat from his, didn't take from his big farm. He just took the little land that, the only little land that this poor guy had. David was furious and said, bring me that guy. Nathan said to David, you are the man. And David was convicted of his sin and from that point on in his life, it really caused a lot of very serious difficulty. And Psalm 51 is his psalm of confession and repentance. It's not just his psalm, it's our psalm. When we fall short, when we do stupid things, when we're unkind, when we're filling the blank. In Psalm 51, and I want this to be our prayer of confession today for our communion, as well as a brief prayer of confession I'll offer before our communion. Help us, Jesus. Psalm 51, 1 through 17. We'll say it responsibly. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned. And done that which is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was born into an enemy, and I have been sinful since my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with this. Make me hear with joy and gladness. 
Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. I have faced from my sins, and I have all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. And I will teach transgressions to your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your grace. For you have no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart of God. You 